All right, welcome back, folks. Thank you for joining. This is my first time on the Rorangang Guard. I was actually out of town when this character got released, so I didn't have time to play the character until I got back. And there are a few things I want to go over with this character, okay? I didn't watch anybody play this character before I hopped in, so I didn't know a lot of things. I don't think that they covered some things in the Warrior's Den when they were displaying the moveset. You actually have a soft faint from both heavies and chain into your full guard, which by the way, in my opinion, don't work unless you're expecting someone to interrupt your heavies with a light. You'll see that in the gameplay later, but I was constantly doing this and just getting hit with heavies because they were trying to parry my heavy and it just doesn't work for that. And you can't delay the soft faint to work for either a light or a heavy. I wish you could. These are things that I'm saying it now because there's no commentary in the video just because I wasn't home when I recorded this. So I'm letting you know now. Um, I didn't actually know this about the character until I started playing Dominion. That's when I started like playing around with soft faints. I didn't know also you have a soft faint out of your unblockable into guard break, which is very nice. Like that's, that's the mix, right? You really want to be using the unblockable. So I would say for those of you who might be struggling using this character, you have to throw that unblockable. You have to. You have to commit to heavies just so people will uh, allow you to grab them so you can get your heavy. I'm glad that I waited until after my, I think this took about six hours to get done getting to rep one, but I hated this character when I first got on it. I thought it was clunky. I thought nothing worked. If you're, if you're not wanting to see my terrible gameplay, I would say skip to the Dominion and uh, duels portion of this video. I'll have the chapters for you, but if you want to see the growth <laughs> of the gameplay and see like, oh man, I went from literally not understanding what to do with this character to, oh, I'm, I'm mixing, I'm baiting, it feels good. I love this character. Like, it definitely feels like uh, Aramusha, not as flowy, like this character ha does have its flow, but it's not as readily available as some of the newer characters or newer reworked characters. You really have to um, assert yourself into, and this is a thinking man's character for sure. You have to prime your opponent. I do wish that she had a trap instead of soft faint uh, heavies into full guard. I wish it was a trap instead, but it's all good. It's all good, Ubisoft. I see what you did here. I uh, definitely want to be backstepping that starter light um, to get into your chain and get into your mix. The, even though they are uh, enhanced, you'll see later. I went against the Centurion who just was ready for everything, and you don't want to be actually hitting people with that starter light. Like, it, it will mess you up. But uh, yeah, the duels were, were honestly where I had the most fun with this character. I know this is a 4v4 based character, but I had the most fun in duels for whatever reason. It felt so good. I went against a rep 67 warden, a rep 50 highlander, and those were some, some tough matches for sure. I am very let down that this character has arm ornaments instead of a head ornament. Very let down Ubisoft. I don't like it. I don't agree with this. Cut it out. The mirror match really feels like a light test because nobody actually wants to throw anything that's super telegraphed and especially like early learning this character you do throw a lot of lights it's going to happen because you're trying to get crush encounters i would even say crushing the crush encounters are nice but in my opinion it's not even worth going for them you might as well just parry and with that said getting from light to unblockable just like that 
harks back to um, old Yorm. That's what this character reminds me of the most. It's like old Yorm with a blockade, minus being a stamina bully. You know, you're just a bully. Is is how it feels. So, yeah, you got to make some good reads. Got to got to prime bait. It's a good time. But uh, Katla also kind of suffers from the too many um, defensive options curse where like you'll just be sitting there not knowing what you want to do. That's why I get hit by a lot of things just because I'll see an attack coming. I don't know if I want to parry it, uh, full guard it, or crush and counter it. And in the time, my brain is just like, which one to do? I just get hit by it. So that is an issue with this character. Also, I wish that the opener heavy also had a soft feint into grab. The beauty of uh, characters who have full guards is their starter heavies have some kind of pressure. So Aramusha has the ring the bell. Um, Warlord has hyper armor on his starter heavies. And Katla just kind of has a soft feint into full guard that doesn't hold until a heavy will hit it. So I just wish you could soft feint into grab. It might make the character a little overpowered to be honest though, but I feel like it would be useful. Come back if you feel like it, but this is going to be a long one and I'm not going to be talking. Next video with this character I will be back with my terribly monotoned voice to soothe you guys back to sleep but yeah hope you enjoy
down sea. Zone C. Bastu will make BLS. Ugh! <laughs> 
Да. Ugh! <sighs> 
Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 